Hello, this is not a spring chick, and I am so excited. We've got so many different things going on. Our head is a spinning. Well, I know there's a few other people who have a head spinning. And one is okay, President Bill Clinton goes on stage at the DNC 2012, and everybody's excited, everybody loves Bill, and do they still want Barack Obama as president? I know that was a nomination speech, but bring back Bill and Hillary. <laughs> Well, for now, we're going to bring on Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, you know, they said that now that everybody has seen Bill Clinton, you know, uh, support Barack Obama and, and, uh, and the Republicans can't stand up to it. Well, the only problem was is that made most of the major news publications in the country and a lot of the people on the left and the media have said, the problem basically was it was a Bill Clinton speech, which meant it was over long. It had to do with Bill Clinton, and it was preaching to the chorus when you needed to preach to the masses because it's not the people in the arena that Obama needs. He needs the people out of the arena, and um, they, they, you know, they didn't buy anything he said. Plus the fact that they reminded people Bill Clinton did the uh, nomination speech for Michael Dukakis, who went down to one of the biggest bosses in the history of the universe. And when he asked the bull says, okay, what does Michael Dukakis and Barack Obama have in common besides being Democrats? They both said they were going to raise your taxes. Uh-huh. And hacktivists and anti-sec leak one million Apple user IDs. Yep. They're, uh, you, you, uh, basically nothing is safe anymore because they're, the security at almost every place you go to sucks. And then, you know, you file a complaint, they don't even get back to you for God numbers. I mean, they probably know right after the problem has started, and it takes them forever to get back to you to put a halt to it, so. And first-generation Kindle Fire officially sells out. Yeah, and that's why they announced the second generation of Kindle today. This morning! Which is bigger than the microwave. It's, it's bigger than the microwave? <laughs> it's, it's, it's bigger than the iPad. It's smaller in size, it has more memory, it has, uh, it has double the battery power, and it's like one quarter the price of the iPad, which basically... Can it is, take Android apps now? Yeah, and it probably, uh, it's probably just screwed Apple right into the ground today. Apple, okay, Apple hasn't done anything since Steve Jobs has died. I mean, it looks like he was the brains behind Apple, and they're trying to, to live off of what he started they didn't introduce the new cell phone they were supposed to. Didn't introduce the new Apple. The I know. I thought to. they would have come out with the iPhone 5 by now. Because they um, they were such a huge failure with the 4. That they figured they better really do something with this one? Yeah, but what happened is they put themselves behind the eight ball. They said, well, they're suing everybody. They're going to sue uh, They're gonna sue Amazon, which basically they said, bring it on. <laughs> no, because nobody is scared of Apple. Apple is a is a one-trick pony, as they say, and these other companies are multi, multi conglomerates. They're huge corporations. Yep. And the Apple is going after Samsung again. Yeah, because they they know that uh, the victory they won is, is a Pyrrhic victory because it was a Silicon Valley victory. They only got one-third of the money they were looking for in their own home court. When it gets out, okay, it's going to go to Korea, and you think that Korea is going to give Apple anything? They're going to they're going to find against Apple in every single case, and then the Supreme Court will go to it. The Supreme Court has to decide, okay, um, I think Samsung is asking for the total worth of the Apple company for violation of international trade pacts, which said that they are trying to purchase businesses to put a business out of business. They have no intentions. But that happens all the time. Off. I know, but not... In a down economy, you purchase a business and fire everybody so you can attack somebody else? No. That will basically get your head handed to you out of this country at the moment. And movie audiences find anti-Obama doc 2016. Oh, you know, it's the, highest gro it's the highest grossing documentary in years and it continues to make money. They're adding theaters every week now because basically it, it's, it, we're going to put it this way, all they do is use Obama's own words. They don't, they don't make up anything. They use the President of the United States saying, you know, specifically, I have too much to do to, st to let George Bush and the Republicans stop it in 216, which means 
he's, he has no intention to leave an office. And right. people, as soon as they get it through their heads, he has no intention to leave office, they'll be better off. And Obama camp refers Clint Eastwood questions to Salvador Dali. Why in the world? They have decided, the, Clint, the Obama administration and his supporters have decided to do the most moronic thing. They are attacking Clint Eastwood as a racist now. Why? Because they th it's a, they think it will work. Well, these are the same people that basically tried to cha take the word God out and turn and turn Jerusalem over to the Muslims. Didn't uh, that turn into a huge oh, fiasco too? Oh, it turned into a farce because the mayor of the city of Los Angeles looked like a oh, wait. His political future ended with last night. I mean. Oh, you mean? Wait a minute. Can we do that vote again? Yeah, it basically wasn't three times, it was six times they did it until they whispered in his ear, the eyes have it. Uh, no, yeah, but the they really did. I wasn't convinced. It was no, like... they, uh, they said every time the nays carried it and uh, they demanded a roll call. Okay, they, the day it was stepped all over Bill Clinton, uh, all over the Clinton thing last night because they're talking about the fact that they demanded a roll call vote and didn't get it in violation of DNC rules. They also admitted today that they couldn't fill that stadium. That they said that they well, were doing it for it because they knew months ago that it rains this time of year. I know. So what made them finally admit it? Is it because because everybody everybody got, already knew everybody it? Everybody knew it. Well, okay. The same woman that caused Bill Clinton so much problem, caused Barack Obama so much problems before, who they had to back from. Give these famous words. There are 35,000 people now that were expecting to be at that uh, at that auditorium. It was supposed to have 78,000. There, they said there are 15,000 people that aren't going to get in, which meant they only had 15,000 people going to show up. And let's put it this way: the 15,000 that aren't getting in are pissed and are likely to sue the hell out. Oh, they got to be so pissed because they went there. Probably many of them just to go to that. They spent. Uh, they spent their money. Okay, all of these people that did this extra work and got the golden tickets to go to the thing, mm -hmm. uh, who basically reshuffled everything to go there, aren't? They're, they're not even going. They can't get into the auditorium because the auditorium already is filled full of the faithful, right. which means the people that Barack Obama needed were the people well, that, that didn't get in. are not going to get in. Because usually it's those people that work their rears off to get something like a golden ticket. The, or the, the ones, ones that really helped to work. make money for the campaign, that yeah. were the ground forces, they told them, well, we're sorry, we can't accommodate you because the, the, the choir has to be there because the, they said, the BS says, they, the president said, if you don't worship me as your God, I will not be able to function right. So I need all 20,000 people of you going, praise be to Allah, pray, oh, wrong God. <laughs> Pentagon threatens legal action. Oh, we already talked about that one, right? Over no. the Osama bin Laden book? No, they, um, okay, that one is, um, they're, they're, Basically, they couldn't get him another way, so they're trying to get him this way because, you know why? Why? Guess who has got his version coming out this week on one of the left-wing... What? Uh, one of the left-wing networks is running Barack Obama and how we've got Bin Laden. Oh. And they have this, they're in a situation room talking with the president, but the president has basically given out more state secrets about everything, you know, naming... Remember, he's the one that's responsible for the doctor in, in the... Uh, Pakistan for being in jail for the rest of his life because he told people who he was and he told who all the Navy SEALs were and their families and he's going to reveal more state secrets next week on network television. Um. <laughs> well he doesn't Isn't care. That? He doesn't really care. I mean I heard Chuck Norris. And he, uh, puts he, out all those the, the man is a danger to this nation because I mean Chuck Norris simply, uh, what was it, um, uh, uh, Hank Williams Jr. said he's a Muslim. Everybody knows he's a Muslim. He hates Christians and he hates Jews. And he's a Muslim. He does not understand why. And he said he got me fired because I simply told people what he was. And he said that uh, the, this white country business hates the guts of this man. He, he's losing everything, every direction because he's mean, vindictive, and spiteful. And in defense of Clint Eastwood, he was weird but fantastic. Well, yeah, they said that um, the fact that he was on for like 35 minutes with no script 
I mean, he's old, he showed age badly. But he was still on for 35 minutes. But he still was on 35 minutes talking and basically, uh, it, it, I, I put give this to Eastwood two years ago and Eastwood would have chewed the president up mm -hmm. and they wouldn't have been able to do anything but because he's showing signs of, um, I would, you know, basically they, in my year they called it senility, I think now he's got Alzheimer's disease. And two more Yosemite visitors stricken with deadly virus. Oh yeah, because Obama wants to shut all of the state parks down because of his green agenda. So, you know, well, 10,000 people were probably stricken. So we're in order to stop that, we're going to have to shut the National Park Service down. It's, in, oh. it's just an Obama excuse to keep tightening the reins up on everybody. Is that why they say you so many officials say 1,700 visitors risk disease? Oh, it's up to 10,000 now. What? It's up to 10,000, and they're going to have to shut. They'll probably have to shut all of the state park systems down till they can figure out what went wrong. What went wrong? Right. Nothing went wrong. It's just they basically somebody came in, somebody had something, and gave it to other people. But that's a reason for Obama. Well, if, if the Republicans had to stop the health care program, we could have done something. Well, yeah. no, because it doesn't take place until after the election because Obama made certain that the unpopular thing would not take place before the election. Anna Monte bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. That if, if you hit your very low expectations, you have no reason to be upset that you hit your expectations.